What's up, everybody? I'm not fully awake, haven't had coffee. What's up, everybody? This is Corey. If this is your first time watching, I'm going on an adventure around the country in an RV with my girlfriend and our cat Waffles in a 2023 Thor Gemini to see as many things as we possibly can. All right. So the vibe is we are not so stealth camping, but just camping in a casino parking lot. We're at the Harrah's in Council Bluff, Iowa. This is where we're gonna be sleeping tonight. Not so stealth. There are some stealth vehicles, but there are also some non-stealth vehicles. So we have one RV here, one RV here. I'm sure that's a stealth car. I'm sure that's a stealthy. I mean, looks like we'll be good right next to the emergency station. A lot of cameras in the parking lot it rained a lot and now it's kind of humid and a little bit buggy so bugs when we are unplugged from power and kind of on the move then we don't have ac which is crazy but you know it'd be like that it's pretty spacious out here and pretty loud because of there's a highway going by so i don't know if anyone would care this big truck has his engine going and this RV in the back has their door open. I'm out here just snitching. I'm out here just dry snitching on the whole parking lot. I'm gonna get back in here and mind my business. We're gonna hang out for a minute and then we're gonna go inside the casino. Got a single $20 bill. And the ATM here charged me $6 to get $20. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna kinda try to win, obviously. If I win, this is gonna be my last video. Plays, bets, 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 plays. I put in the minimal amount of money, so I don't know how many bets I actually have I'm gonna just hit play. I started this with twenty dollars. Last button. <laughs> this is going on our refrigerator. This paper costs more than what I'm getting, but I did get a free drink. Down twenty dollars. I'm sorry. Down twenty-six dollars with ATM no, fees. No, 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 You're down twenty-five dollars and eighty-three cents. Because I'm a seventeen-cent winner. Yeah. <laughs> down <laughs> twenty-five dollars and eighty-three cent uh, after that casino trip. Um, there's six dollars in ATM fees. Quickest twenty dollars I've ever lost. I'm lying. I put twenty dollars in a G-string once. <laughs> Got a free a free bev. It's just water. Cool way to get out of the RV. Staying in a casino parking lot. What I did not record was JJ made pan fried halloumi bowls with mixed vegetables, like a like mix like Brussels sprouts and broccoli. Yeah, we got quinoa, tomatoes, mixed green vegetables, pesto, pine nuts, pan fried halloumi. Was there anything else in there? I put artichoke hearts in mine. Courtney didn't want that, but that bowl was bad. You say tomatoes? I said tomatoes. You it, said tomatoes. It was fire. Did dishes. Now we're just gonna relax and... You can't tell, but the whole RV is rocking right now. Right now, we are on our way to Omaha, Nebraska. Started this trip early. We're gonna hang out in Omaha today, get some things done, do some laundry. This is the road. I don't know why I'm talking like it's a food adventure. <laughs> I'm talking like the, the intro to man versus food. 
JJ just dropped this fact on me that she heard secondhand. Corn sweats? The crops of corn sweats and contributes to the humidity in places that grow corn. Please tell me that's not real. In the comments, if you know, if you're watching, let me know. I hear Omaha's a, 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 I was gonna say a fun place. I didn't hear it was a fun place. I just hear Omaha has things to do. So looking forward to getting there. Sweaty ass corn. In Omaha, leaving a coffee shop. Nice little coffee shop. I spent the day working, like working, working. And I mean, it felt good to get a lot of things done, but I didn't expect to be sitting in that coffee shop for as long as I did. Now I didn't get a chance to kind of tour Omaha, see what was happening. Right now I'm gonna go to a sneaker store, stop in maybe at a vintage store. Don't really plan on buying anything, but I do wanna look around. The also the major news is I'm leaving my job got some things going on and i am going to transition out of this job uh possibly into a new job possibly later on possibly immediately i don't know but starting a new chapter and it's kind of terrifying honestly i <sighs> uh, love it there I, they they are good to me they took care of me i don't know why i'm talking about a job like their parents like they took care of me they brought me in i do rock with them I am gonna miss some of the people there. Now on to a bigger, badder transition. If these videos don't get better after this point, bruh, call my job, I'm coming back. This is cool. This town is weird. That wasn't a bad trip into the sneaker store, honestly. I think, I don't know if I'm over the sneaker bug or there just isn't anything out or new that I want. So I easily just passed through there, browsed some shelves, got the hell up out of there in a way that I've never done before. Like not even torn, not even just like, oh, uh, maybe. If I was already planning on spending $200 and these shoes was $200 plus another $400, then I really only spent four hundred dollars for the shoes because i was already going to spend the two so they didn't really come out to six hundred all right so i said i wasn't going to buy anything and i don't think i should have come into this vintage store because now i kind of want to buy a vintage t-shirt and buy vintage as an old man i'm just buying a t-shirt from my childhood or my teenage years or even my college military years like these t-shirts are just of artists i went to the concert of so that's fun i don't think i'm allowed to bring any more clothes into the rv what about sunglasses Okay, these right here, these are the, I was trained in the darkness. Oh yeah, brother. Yeah, these are the, I definitely sold you drugs at a music festival, glasses. These right here, these remind me of Hollywood from the movie Mannequin. Y'all remember that? Okay, probably not. These, come on. I don't know where I wear these two. You can't even put them over your eyes. You just hold them like this. Checks over stripes. I'll just stick to these. Man it out without buying a t-shirt which 
not only am I proud of myself for making it out of there without buying a t-shirt, I'm proud of myself for recording myself while I was in there. Final thing we need to do is put some water into Steve RV. We've completely depleted our water, even though we both took showers outside of the RV tonight. We did take showers in the RV uh, two nights ago. So, I'm gonna put some water in here, uh, a little H2 Izzo. H2 Izzo? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna put some water in here. I'm gonna go to one of the favorite spots now. Uh, I'm really digging Loves. I like Loves because... Yeah, a lot of amenities. We got a lot of amenities that have been really helpful to us. They got the right kind of air pump that we needed for our tires. We're about to go fill up our water there. There's also loves around the country that will let you stay overnight, like an RV park. Those are the ones I really want to go to. I don't know why I'm excited to go to a gas station. There's no potable water. We have to figure out how we're going to put water in this tank so we at least can take a shower in the RV and also have water to brush teeth and boil and do things. I'm gonna buy a jug of drinkable water and then probably just fill up the tanks with sink water from inside so we can shower. But here's the adventure. This is where we're gonna fit our... The sink is filthy. New plan. Guys, we made it to the harvest house. We got water, we made it here. The strangest shit is we drove probably 10 to 12 miles down a dirt and gravel road through corn to get to the place that we are staying at tonight. When I tell you this is probably the most off-road Steve Harvey has been, this is definitely deep back Nebraska for me. I'm going to just show you this. It's wild. Except for that red light over there. And I don't know what that red light is. Good morning. We're in Cairo, Nebraska. Uh, we turned down a dirt path and went a lot of miles down a dirt road to get to this. And I'm not gonna lie, it's beautiful back here. Uh, but the main thing that brought us back here, aside from just looking for a place to sleep for the night and camp, uh, is this. Today we're taking a tour of a hemp farm. <laughs> air is fresh-ish. I do smell livestock in the air. There's some cattle somewhere around here. Not bad. It is a 50 something degree morning. Feeling good, slept okay. Let's uh, let's see if we can get in here and get some hemp and some CBD and relax. Cool. This is dried. This is, dry. this is dried and bucked. I have over a hundred different cannabinoids. CBD is just one of them. It's the one that's been researched the most. Um, CBG we use is more in a topical creams. We find that it's very good for topical skin problems. Um, CBG is also when you grow it, 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 so that type of plant actually grows with a lot less THC in it. So, you know, most CBD plants are going to be, let's say, 8 to like 15% before you go over the THC level. CBG you can run up in the 20s, mid 20s before you reach the THC level. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot easier to grow CBG and have higher cannabinoid content without the THC threshold being hit. Um, but we mostly use it for, it's also a lot harsher, or less harsh smelling yeah. and tasting than CBD is. Which one is better for sleep? The one that, that a lot of people say is for sleep is CBN. Oh. So CBN you see a lot of people, but basically everybody's different. So you might need CBD to help you sleep, or he might need CBN, mine, mine might be CBG, but you're just trying to supplement everything that we're doing. Okay. So when we do ours, we have all those things. So when you buy our product, you don't have just CBD. You're gonna have CBG, you're gonna have CBN, you're gonna have CBC, you're gonna have all those different things in our tinctures and our gummies. 
Whereas usually when you go out and buy CBD, it's just CBD. Right. Got or it. just CBD, if it's full spectrum, it's just CBD and THC. Okay. You're not supposed to label any products, um, any cannabinoids. With, you can't make claims on cannabinoids. Well, I feel like I see a lot of claims. I feel like so I do usually, too. Usually, if you see claims on something, they usually add something else in. So usually if you see um, this one is for sleep, usually it's a cannabinoid plus like melatonin. So they claim the melatonin. For sleep, and that's how they but I feel like I see a lot of products that say like this has CBN, this has CBG. Can they make those claims? You can say what's in it. Okay. But you can't say CBG. This is strictly for pain. This whole thing a freezer too, what's or that? just this? What's is that? This a freezer too? All back here? That's a cold room. This oh. is a freezer. Okay. Well, that's the biggest freezer I've ever seen. So this is fresh frozen. So we cut it, cut it directly off the plant. It goes directly in. So you can see all the little, you see all the little shiny things? Yeah. yeah. Those are what we want. Cool. So they're really intact when you do it this way. So you can see how clean the water is? Yeah. Wow. You can see right through it. So it pulls out all the nutrients, everything. Um, my water system is turnkey. The only thing I do is I add salt to the water softener. Yeah. Other than that, if anything spikes or something happens, it kicks back to the company who built it, and they either fix it from their computer or they walk me through and fix it. <laughs> so the auger brings the ice right into here. We do about five to 600 pounds. where we go to our, our end product right before we go into our retail products or we sell it whole. Uh, so our short reactor is over here. Uh, basically it's like a giant pressure cooker. So this is where we take the hash and infuse it into the oil. Um, the cool part about this is like I said, there's a, there's a couple pads on it that allows it to heat up without damaging it. So we can get all of those cannabinoids in, all those terpenes in without damaging them. And then also it's our final like kill step, we call it. So once we go in, we always cook above 215 degrees. So if any microbials or anything gets through, all of our filtration, it zaps everything. It's, that's why we call it the kill step. So it kills everything else that you would worry about. So we don't have to test for solvents and we don't have to test for microbials because of our kill step and because we use solvents. Duty Coles had to return to Steve Harvey to take a meeting. Not that many meetings left. Uh, I told you all that I have put in my notice, my letter of resignation, uh, but still have some things to wrap up. Now that we've had the tour um, and we got to ask some questions and like see some things, it's the fun part of going in to make some purchases. As you guys have seen, I make my own coffee in the mornings, my, my cold brew, and I got a CBD tincture maple flavor to drop into my coffee um, for the mornings. A little caffeine high, but like a little CBD leveler. I don't know why, I don't know what this does. So one is one is the lemonade and one's maraschino cherry. Ooh, cool. Yes. Okay, and then cash or card? Uh, card it is the whole. Gonna eat lunch really quick, gonna pack up, put some water in, and then head to our next spot. Lunch today. Mac and cheese with a little broccoli in it. This is the mac and cheese they used. We got it from the cheese store in Vermont. But now, I gotta go do some chores. See you on the road. Okay, front to back. <laughs>
This the newest member of the Steve RV team, and this gonna bring the Steve RV mad more green. It's windy. It's windy, and we out here. It's a it's a dry cold. We are in last days of Nebraska. This is our last day in Nebraska. We stayed at a lavender farm last night. All of this is lavender. It is, we bought some lavender. It, oh, what? Hey, who are you? What up, my dude? You just a puppy? What's going on? Oh yeah, you like that. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, behind it. Oh, that's a good one. We just got random dogs out here. Little random farm dogs. I'm a, I'm a farm dog. That's made a new friend. You can't come with us, so you gotta watch out when we pull out. You a puppy too, you a, it's a whole puppy out here. Oh, I got my, this my, this my Darth Maul. No. Oh. how long have you been out here, Kenobi? I don't know if that's how Darth Maul felt. Darth Maul's plagued. Okay, this is the corn, last days of corn. I hope last days of corn. <sighs> so many days of corn. Um, we've been trying to cut into the corn ratio. So we've had corn, we've had lavender, we've had hemp, and I am ready to go. By the way, tried that CBD last night that we got from Sweetwater. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna distract this puppy so you could pull out and then I'm gonna come run in and get out. Okay. This, this puppy really wants to go. I had to come in the RV. Oh, buddy. Hey, we don't have anything for you. Puppy, come on, come on. Let's go. You want pets? You want pets? Puppy pets. Let's go, pull off. Go, 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 go. Puppy's following us. Staying at that Labrador farm was actually pretty chill. We are on our way to Denver. Denver was where we were racing to. We get to chill in Denver for a few weeks. Excited to be there. You can't travel without good music. So, here we go. Thank you guys for watching please like subscribe share do all of the things if this is your first time here we appreciate it if you've been here before we also appreciate it please come back and you know what we say at the end of the day, end of the day.